Hi everyone, this is Deborah. This top I just got from uh, Kato and the earrings and I just love this. I used to have a lot of these tops from Chico's and I think I gave them to one of my sisters. So I've always been on a mission to find some jeans that actually will adhere to my waist because my waist is small and most size 12 jeans, they have a gap and I hate that. I mean, it, it, it's uncomfortable on my back because I had a spinal fusion. So I took a risk. I don't like taking risks, but I did this time. Uh, it's, uh, I finally found the jeans HSN and I think they're Juliana's. I'm not. Sh I'm sure I'm not saying that. It's she used to do like uh, fashion shows, I guess, with Joan Rivers. Uh, she came out with some jeans, and I thought it was all hype, you know. Plus, it was on sale. And the reason why I did it is because she had petite, and because I've lost two inches inches because of my uh, back, the way it is. I went ahead and ordered it. I ordered the boot cut in the regular length because I was thinking, oh, if I'm gonna wear booties or, you know, heels, uh, you know, like boots, I need that extra couple inches. So I ordered that in black. It hung down this much, so I had to return those. So I went, I, and it still had my petite and, uh, so I got the petite and it is HSN's uh, item number 663655. It is called the GBG Sculpt Boot Cut in True Black Petite 12. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now I've already, like I said, tried on the regular size. When I tried on these jeans, I was like in shock. Oh my God. Here we go. That's what it says right there. Okay. All right. The true black. Yeah. It's got Lycra. Now, they are extremely well made. And that's the little logo on the back. This actually conformed to my stomach. When I tried the other pair on, you know, the regular length, I didn't want to take the jeans off because I like that um, feeling that it's like holding me in. I hate jeans that are just sitting on, on your body and it's not doing anything for you. Well, these jeans, I like I said, I didn't want to take the ones off that I ordered in the regular length. So I did get the petite. So now I don't have to worry about hemming because I've taken a lot of my pants to get hemmed by a seamstress. And it's like $18 just to pay the seamstress. So try them out. I think they're probably still on the site, but I would go right now. Now, another brand that I been buying their shorts and their capris is indigo thread and let me show you these uh let's see i think it's over here all right yeah indigo thread is from evine there's a app you can get right on your smartphone this is the indigo thread stretch denim five pocket rolled and the black it was only $23. It was like 60% off. Item number 738901. Now, where I live, they have Bike Fest. It is a really big event. In fact, the man that was in, um, oh, he was in a motorcycle show. I forgot his name now, but he is going to be one of the guest appearances here. Uh, Sturgis, you know, the show about the biker, that club that was in Sturgis. Uh, that owner is coming here to my hometown. So I have to get things that are kind of, you know, rock, rock star-ish. So here it is. This has got 
the torn look and it doesn't really show any skin because it's got I'll show you put my hand in there and it it's the patches are well covered you know so my knees not hanging out but this is like a rocker look and I do dress up for bike week uh, yeah and I think it's cute where they got the little worn places on the pocket yeah so if you have a tr trouble with jeans I uh, go and get the ones by Juliana and I'm, I'm afraid you will love it um, <clears throat> even if you can't get the sale price I would still get the jeans um, the jeans I used to love from Chico's they don't make it anymore so but I said taken very good care of my clothes and I've had them for 10 years so the thing about all my clothes, I wear every one of them. And the ones that I haven't worn in three years, I do give away to my daughter because she's the only one in my family that's my size that I know of at the moment. But a lot of people fluctuate in weight. But I wanted to reiterate what happened to me yesterday. If you watched any of my videos, I um, found out from my doctor, my hearing is gone uh, and I have to read lips. Uh, he did the test and I asked him, I said, one out of 10, where am I at on that scale? He says, honey, you are negative four. And um, I only heard like two tones the whole time he had that de listening device in there and he kept it in there for like four minutes. And I only heard two tones, so that's not good. So I put a little uh, thing out there to you guys. If you have someone who's passed and they have uh, their hearing aids laying around send one to me um yeah send one to my post office box uh yeah i got uh my last recording i said a storm is coming well i had an hour drive home and let me tell you what it was the worst storm i've ever been caught in I, uh, the, the regular speed limit was 55. I had to go 20 and I had a whole lot of people behind me because I have wiped out when I was first married. I had a 66 convertible Mustang and uh, my husband at the time put on racing slicks. Dumb, dumb, dumb. And I spun out turned the car upside down with a convertible and uh, it was totaled and um so i hit a water pocket so when i see water pockets it just frightens the hell out of me so i was hitting water pockets that was i guess this deep i mean it was it was extremely terrifying lightning was the worst it was lightning all around my car a lot of other people in my community you know posted on our community website that they got caught in it too it was horrific. Uh, the last time I got caught into a water, uh, a huge rain pour, I had to stay at my granddaughter's. I had to spend the night in that haunted chair. Yeah. Uh, so this is one of my favorite drinks. Uh, where I live at is the Northern Neck, in case you didn't know. And we are famous for crabs, seafood, and Northern Neck ginger ale. And I always get the diet because I have to watch every calorie. Uh, but the good news is I've lost two pounds since my last bloodletting, I call it. Let's see, I think I still have, yeah, I still have my, I couldn't sleep last night, even though he took me off of Ambien. I couldn't sleep last night. Um, and he started me on something else. Uh he started me on trazodone, which I've taken when I was, uh, you know, in a very bad marriage. I would take this sometimes. But he said that is better than Ambien because you should not be on Ambien for more than a couple weeks. Only five milligrams if you're a woman. I was on it for 12 years. I kept wondering why I was waking up with a very bad headache. Well, now I know it's, it was the Ambien. You should not be on it, you know. Oh my God, this is so good. This is excellent. Yeah, it's got real ginger in it. So, I also wanted to talk to the ladies out there. I am on 
a website to help women and men who are in a troubled relationship. I, I remember what it was like for me at the beginning of finding out, you know, what was wrong with my marriage. And I know this sounds stupid or silly, but a lot of women and men don't know they're being abused. And uh, so I go on there and I send them links to my YouTube channel and uh, some early signs for me was when your partner is missing and they don't come up with an explanation of where they're at or you know that they're telling a fib, that is an early warning sign. Or um, if, th this is another problem is they narcissists are such charmers that you your friends and relatives think you're the problem right yeah uh it's because narcissists are very charming and believable i remember uh i left him i think about after I'd been married for seven years and I went to talk to a relative of mine and she goes, oh, you married really well. He's a good guy. You got a good husband. I couldn't tell her the details. Uh, I was mortified, you know, because people who are abused are, 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 they are shamed, ashamed at some of the things that they're tolerating. So they don't tell the whole story, but I listened to this relative and I realized many years later she was nutty as a fruitcake. Yeah, and I was very young mother. I was like maybe 23 when I left. And she says, I'll go back to him. So I did. No, I should not have done that. Mm. So another sign is when you can't be yourself and you have to walk around them with eggshells and they're picking, they're nitpicking you for like everything, you know, you can't seem to make them happy. A lot of uh, women are catering to their man, doing all the laundry, all the dishes, all the shopping, you know, all the housework while their man just comes home and just sits. Or you could, it could be the opposite. You could be married to a woman who doesn't do jack shit. Um, they are taking advantage of you and you become the doormat, you know. Uh, let's see. Another red flag that you're being abused if, is when you have to keep a secret, when you know that something is going on in your marriage and you can't tell anybody, because that happened to me. I couldn't tell anybody about the abuse because I knew, number one, they were going to judge me. And they ultimately did anyway. Uh, I was too embarrassed about the abuse because uh, if, and I just learned this the other day, if you know your partner is abusing your children and you know about it, your children can be taken away from you because you are tolerating that. You, you were aware of this, you know. I remember my mother told me that she saw my husband at the time almost jerking my daughter's arm out of her socket because uh, my husband at the time did not know that my mother was in the parking lot at the grocery store and my mother witnessed all this. That breaks my heart because she didn't tell me this until my daughter was like 40, you know, not 40, but about 35 years old. If you ever see anybody abusing a child you've got to tell people because it means it's still going to go on you know if you if you don't if you see something say something so i'm sure i've rambled on enough but um if you want to know a little bit more about the signs or the red flags just um watch a lot of my videos i i talk about this a lot which is why i started this channel so uh, y'all have fun tonight. I'm getting ready to go to work. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Every one of you all that watch me, um, I consider it a blessing. And I'm very grateful for the life that I have now. Bye.